Hey, happy Independence Day. It's that time of year where the hot dogs and the fireworks come out. Hope you're having a good time hanging out by the pool or lounging at the beach or taking a swim in the lake. That's where I grew up. I'm really excited for this 4th of July special to have on a very amazing, talented entrepreneur, a one of a kind, awesome woman, Tari. She was so cool to come on and tell us all about her store, Oils of the Earth by Tari. This woman makes all natural, vegan, products. She has hand soaps, weird loofahs, unicorn poop, essential oils, all kinds of goodies. Listen to the podcast, tune in, and please do yourself a favor. Check out the links in the show notes and go show some support for Tari. Thank you all for joining us this 4th of July. Welcome to IPA Sessions. Welcome to IPA Sessions, a podcast for independent artists. As always, I'm your host, Kay Jacob, and today I'm excited to have on the show a unique guest. This is someone who is a woman's business entrepreneur. She has her own business, and she makes all natural and vegan skincare products. This is Oils of the Earth by Tari. Please welcome to the show for the first time, Tari Hell. Say hi. Hi, thank you, Jacob. Hi, everyone. <laughs> How are you today? I'm good. Uh, I've been trying for about, I think, almost a year now to, to make this happen. Um, but, you know, we, we had technical issues. We're figuring it all out. We're finally getting there. Um, I actually came across you randomly. I met you at the Lotus Festival. I was with my girlfriend and my kid, and she saw your, your setup that you had, and we went over there and I mean, it was awesome. Everything you had there. Um, she bought a really big soap bar that lasts us an awfully long time, surprisingly. And it smelled great. Nice. I borrowed it from time to time. Uh, and you were cool and kind enough to give us a few extra samples to take with us. And uh, I think she now gets orders from your website all the time. And I know that we keep it in stock at our house. So we can attest Yay. that you have really That's good great. stuff. We enjoy it. Tell me a little bit uh, about yourself. Uh, who are you and what exactly do you do? What is Oils of the Earth? Okay. So again, my name is Tari. Um, I have a business called Oils of the Earth by Tari. It is an LLC. Um, I started the business because I, um, I have very sensitive skin and most of the products out there has a lot of chemicals in there. And um, I know the chemicals really affect my skin. So during the pandemic, well, I want to say right before the pandemic, because I know in, in college, I will always mix my own oils, you know, just depending on my body, because I never used um, the, uh, the the commercial lotions that are out there. So um, I noticed that the oils was like really doing good for my skin. You know, I wasn't like breaking out or, you know, if I put oils on, I would stay pretty much moisturized and soft all day, <laughs> you know? So um, I want to say by the end of, hmm, I want to say around like 2018, I was like making oils. And then I thought, I was like, hmm, I wonder if I could turn my oils into a soap. And I started experimenting with that. So like my first time trying to like make the soap, I made the soap homemade, not the, uh, what do you call it? The, the soap where you can just, uh, I forget the name of the soap where you can just pop it in an oven or the microwave and it, it melts. But I pretty much had my That's own wild. formulas where I was mixing it with lye, going through the whole process of making the soap and um, almost burnt my apartment down. So, you know, at first I screamed like, oh my God, oh my God, <laughs> wow. somebody help. And I was like, Tyree, shut up. They're going to know it's you. You did it. You just cleaned up. So I, <laughs> so I end up, you know how they say practice make perfect. So I end up uh, yeah. following the real uh, uh, formulas instead of like, oh, I know what I'm doing, which I didn't. So I end up knowing that making soap, um, hand making soap naturally, uh, you have to be precise with each uh, uh, level and each measurement of like the lye, the oils, like 
everything in order for your product to be balanced and come out correctly. So um, my first time selling mm. was I did like a little, uh, yeah, I did like a little, um, I want to say like a little sale in Atlanta because my, uh, my god sister pretty much invited me to come out with her during the time that the uh, Super Bowl was in Atlanta. So I started selling my soaps then and that kind of boosted my confidence because I only had what probably like two soaps and the oils and people were buying them. Yeah. People were asking questions at like, you're asking why did I choose to do this? And, and you know, what was my, my outcome of doing this? And I'm like, Hey, look at my skin. I'm like a, a walking uh, billboard for myself. So, you know, people start buying. And then um, when I got back to LA, I started giving it to my, uh, giving samples to my neighbors and then one of my neighbors was telling me that um i forget what his skin was going through but he was telling me that his soap oh well my soap was like helping his skin and i was like oh my goodness because he was That's just awesome. telling me that he really didn't use soap yeah because so he was just telling me that you know it helped him and from there i start like uh, making not only coconut based um soaps i start making like an olive um an olive blend soap and from there, it, yeah, it I think took we off. had I one of the to... olive ones. Yeah, like the oh the the olive one. I called that olive one my bread and butter because yeah, I mean, it people lasted been a while telling too. me it how really it nice. helps them with yeah yeah. Thank you. People have been telling me how it helps them with the eczema, with the psoriasis, with any type of skin cha uh, challenges that people could you know maybe facing so and i know like i said i wash my face with it every day it because I, I used to have like oily skin oily i'm sorry oily uh, to combination skin and pretty much when i start like using the soap with my oils it pretty much balanced my skin out so now i don't have that problem so it's it's, it's a good thing and i'm, I'm glad that my soap is That's like really thing. helping people and and you know and really doing good by people <laughs> Right. Well, and it's also, it's really good for you, not just personally for your business, but also I forgot to mention, you are an actor. You act, you, you are a face that most people might recognize from TV and film. Um, and so having great skin is really good for that. Um, I need to get my cousin uh, some of your soap because he's an actor as well. So <laughs> Yeah, I'm, I'm still an unemployed actress. Do, do you mind if we just briefly bring up the, the acting world? <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. So I pretty much I uh, like that. I'm still, I'm still yeah, I'm still a, a actress. Yep, looking for a job. Um, but God has blessed me where I have done a, a, a couple commercials that made TV. I've done some uh, reenact, uh, reenactment um, show, which was really great. Um, that that was on with um, Investigation Discovery. Um, I did a couple commercials. Uh, some of my commercials went to, I want to say, uh, Ireland and, and, and things like that. Some went on the internet, which That's was fine. Awesome. Um, yeah, I, I mean, it's, it's a blessing because I know some people still are still trying to at least get out like that. So um, I've been in a lot of independent films. Some of my films have uh, won awards, which was which is great. It's a great experience. That's and um, pretty much, you know... Um, yeah, that's what I've been doing. So right now I'm still looking for acting work. So we'll see what happens. But in the meantime, that's what I start right. doing. Just um, my focusing on my business. Keep your skin and, looking healthy. And I have a, yeah. <laughs> yep. And I have a couple products here too, if you would like to see them. So I don't know if you remember the, of course, um, yeah. the lotion stick. Tell, tell us yeah. all about oils. So this, tell us yeah. all about what you have, um, what you make. Uh, little little things that make them special because I know you also mentioned that they're vegan products too, um, and most yes. people like myself yes. at first when and I heard vegan. vegan I was like, "What you can eat this?" And it's like, "No, no, it's just because it's very natural that there's no my, my guess is it means there's no harming of animals or anything like that uh, for this to to be made." So just give me a, a nice walkthrough of your business. Absolutely, yeah. So for the for the most part, um, vegan is um, I, I can make vegan products upon request because a lot of times people don't like to use um beeswax and that's what i use i use uh beeswax in my products to make my lotion sticks and a lot of times um yeah. i would oh. pretty much have to cater to, to people with sensitive skin so most of my uh 
product, like I said, has uh, coconut in it. I learned during, uh, during my five years, five and a half years in business, that there are so many people out there that are sensitive to coconut oil. And I pretty much had to modify some of my soaps to, you know, include um, grapeseed oil or um, different different oils that are uh, are not clogging the pores because some people have very sensitive skin. So yeah, so I have like the this is the lotion stick that can um, that I, that can be made for um, for vegan. So pretty much instead of I wanted to do something different, so instead of just doing like the liquid lotion. I do like a stick lotion. It's a stick lotion, and it's a it's a push up. You just push it up from the bottom like that. I don't know if you can see it, and you just push it up from the bottom like that, and then to get it down, you just hit it on your hand or hit it on the hard surface, and it goes back down. So this is the one ounce, and then I have like the um, like the two ounce here. This is the two point two ounce there, and I also make deodorant, which I don't have the samples with me, and then like the soaps, the soaps I make. I go ahead. Is the is the lotion stick is that new? Because I, I don't know if I remember seeing no, those. Uh, no. you, it was there. Okay, it maybe, was she, there. maybe she got. I think maybe Yvonne got one from you then. Okay, yeah, that's yeah, cool. Yeah. I like that. I just probably didn't know what it was. I was like, oh, okay, but I didn't realize it's a push stick. Like that's really yeah, cool. Yeah, it, it's like, good because it lotion it's stick. Neat. Yeah, it's multi. Oh my goodness, it, it has it's multi purpose. So some girls they like to put their hair in a ponytail, and because because it has beeswax in it, they like to like slide the wispies down. Some people use it for um, moisturizing after they exfoliate their feet, you know, because it's really good. It has oh, really nice. good butters and oils in here. It has like shea butter in here, cocoa butter. It has a lot of good oils in here. And then um, some people, yeah, so some people use it for full body. It's, it's definitely um, a full body bar. I would say uh, the oils I use too, I, I put it in my hair. It's like really good. So I have some oils with coconut some oils without coconut um like i said i do make soaps uh, that are non-comedogenic uh, uh, which means that it won't clog the people pores people who are have very sensitive skin um oh i make I'll bring this out i also make Ooh, i make soaps <laughs> with uh, the natural loofah it's like pretty huge people always think oh it's yeah like a Stone. We yeah, have one of those, like an earth stone with some strong crystals, but because you could actually stone. scrub with the soap. Yes, you exfoliate. It's, you exfoliate yeah. while you're washing, so you really don't need a wash rag. You can use like soap and do it. You got all in one, so you get your bubbles and your exfoliation on at once. So that's really good. <laughs> and what is the cool material that makes it like a loofah? What is that material that you use? Because it's dissolvable. It's like, you know what? I don't know. I have to find like the proper name for it. But it is actually, it's, it's crazy when I found out about it. It's actually a vegetable. It's a vegetable. Oh. that, But when it dries out, it becomes a natural loofah. Isn't that crazy? Like That's everything cool. is in the earth. That's everything wild. we need is from the earth. It's, <laughs> it's crazy. So keep in mind. Just think, this used to be a plant, and look at all this fiber. I think this is fiber. This was what cleanses out. If it was, yeah, if it, it looks like a loofah. Was, you know, if it, yeah, it is. It's a natural. It's a natural loofah, but it's that's it's so, like a natural plant. So yeah, so that's like the great thing so about cool. it. Thank you. So yeah, then I have like then I make also like um, whip soap. It's called unicorn poop. The unicorn poop I made for children, but. The adults like love it, so the adults been buying it like crazy. So all it is is just like <laughs> I love the really name. I love it. Yeah, I, I, and it's so funny because everybody like unicorn poop. I'm like, yeah, fresh from the source. You should give it a sniff, and you know people get a kick out of it. Get, She's get magical it. too, <laughs> right? Right, and I'm like fresh, I, fresh from the source. So, <laughs> so uh, pretty much all it is is like whip soap. It's like a little whip soap that you well. A, it's like an eight ounce uh container of whip soap that has uh like like um i would say the colors of the rainbow in there it's just like colors a few colors oh, in there probably like four like four colors and yeah and it takes a, a little bit you put it on a loofah or you can use your hand and you just rub it on your body and it, it foams up it foams up it's just soap and it has a such a sweet smell to it such a really good smell and it is fun listening to people of what the scent reminds them of because a lot of time it's nostalgia for um for, for some people because people are like oh this smells like fruit roll up it smells like you know a jolly rancher or <laughs> cotton candy so it's, it's really cute 
and it's all natural. So how do you get that really cool candy smell? That's so cool. Oh, okay. So yes, I'm glad you asked that. So pretty much, I would say some of my some of my scents. Uh, and I always let people know, I'll let them know, like, even on my website, you'll see where it says the fragrance, which the fragrance are uh, mixed with uh, essential oils. And then you got some that's 100% fragrance, but the oils, all the oils are 100% all natural. Some of my oils are uh, refined and unrefined. The butters that I use, um, I even go to different countries. Like last summer, I was at in Egypt and in Dubai. And I picked up some oils from there and I included in some of my products. So, so cool. they are really good oils that I do have in there. Yeah. But far as like the, the scents and stuff, I use a hundred percent. Um, and it's, and it's pretty much labeled on my website. And I also tell people when I do the pop-ups, I'll let them know which ones have fragrance with it's the fragrance mixed with the essential oils and some that are a hundred percent essential oils. So I'm glad you, I'm glad you right. said that. And but for yeah, those that's of you who are listening. Oh Yeah. <laughs> No, go ahead, go ahead. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to interrupt. I was going to say, for those of you who are listening, if you're excited about what she's talking about and you're curious, there are links in the show notes. Go check out her website right now and support a local indie, well, local to me, but an indie artist here that uh, is her own business. Uh, she has told you everything that she's doing so far. Um, and I'm sorry to interrupt you. I just want to point that out. Like the stuff on your website is really cool too. Um, but please proceed. Oh, proceed no, about I, the unicorn poop. I, I didn't mean to interrupt. I just want to do a nice oh, little no, plug I, for you. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I appreciate the the plug, Jacob. Thank you. Yeah. So if everybody everyone wants to visit my website, it's O T E B T. O T E B T. So that's Oils of the Earth by Tyree, but only one O. And um, so yeah, so I mean I'm, I'm having a great time. Uh making, you know, making, making things happen with my business. I'm, I get so happy when people like send me emails or, um, little notes on my Instagram to let me know how my soap has helped like a family member, how the soap has changed their skin, how they are, you know, want to order like lotion sticks or soaps to, to give for gifts and, you know, and, um, I have, I have, uh, like I said, I've been in, uh, I've been having my business for almost uh, six years, next February will be six years. And I love that I have repeat customers. I love that I'm gaining new customers. So it's, it's all a blessing. And I'm all, I'm, I'm so, so very thankful that, you know, people are trusting me with their skincare and, and, you know, they keep supporting me. So it's, it's, it's a fun ride. That's so cool. And you know, I, you started bringing it up earlier and I think I cut you off. So I apologize, but um, you had mentioned that you don't just make soap, you make deodorant. Could you take us through oh, yeah. uh, some of your deodorants and how that all works? Absolutely. Because I do know like um, certain, you know, big brand products out there give you issues. Yes. Yes. I'm glad you brought that up too. Yeah. So um, yeah, I definitely make deodorant. I love, uh, I love the deodorant. I, I have some on now. <laughs> um <laughs> what I <Good>. use and what <laughs> I've learned, yes. <laughs> and what I've learned pretty much is that um, I don't use baking soda in my uh, deodorants because I know it irritates a lot of people's skin. So I have my own formula that I use, and I also use um, charcoal, like the charcoal, um, charcoal powder, charcoal clay, um, because it it really detoxifies. Like charcoal, like from a from a like fire actually what i where i get my charcoal from i get it from um hawaii because it's supposed to be um from from the ashes of the volcano so yeah oh, so that's, that's why awesome. i get some of the you um, really do work some magic from, yeah. in this don't you <laughs> yeah i mean you know what because seriously i think it's enough that you know our food is getting tampered with and so many things that are yeah. in products that we can't see when we put it on our body or, you know, or when we ingest it, but we don't, we don't know what inside of our body is going through because, you know, so many chemicals, so many foreign things that our body has to fight to, to get through. And I just wanted to kind of do my part to, you know, help, help, help bring some good stuff back into the world. So, you know, um, 
that's that's my whole look at it and my you know my look at it is that i, I want to do something good i want to put good stuff on my skin because i know i'm still struggling to you know eat what's right so <laughs> so you know at least i right. can do um do that and you know and just for, for everyone to know that the biggest organ the largest organ that we have on our body is our skin and everything that we put on our skin it absorbs into our into our insides and you never know what it's doing to the liver what it's doing to the inside so it's it's it's, it's very important to be conscious of that what you're putting in your in your in your in your, Smart, your belly yeah. which you're putting I didn't really think skin, about that <laughs> how much we yeah yeah it's serious i mean because a lot of times we're not taught it's just like here buy this product here put this on your body and yeah. we're not knowing what it does so that's why i would like to encourage everyone to seek natural products seek natural products because i know even sometimes i know this one girl was telling me that her son had eczema so bad that after she was using the um the um olive blend soap and, you know, and I had gave her like one of the unscented lotion sticks just for her to moisturize her son with. And she was just telling me, she says, you know what, not only has it helped his skin, but she think it's kind of like, and I, you know, and I keep telling people, it, it, I love when people send me like pictures and, and really get on my website or my Instagram and really give me their testimony. You got before and after pics. That's much, great. Yes. Yes. Some, I, I do have some on there, but I need more. Uh, but yeah, she was telling me how even it helps him. She said she just started seeing a change in his behavior, you know, his behavior, because he's not itching anymore. The, the irritation is, is gone. He's not agitated anymore. You know, whenever he's yeah, using this soap and great. the soap is helping, helping his body. So, so yeah, so that made me feel so good and it encourages me to keep going you know, so, so yeah, I, I just think it's a, a well, good that's thing awesome. when I can contribute to society too. Yeah. Well, and of course you just mentioned that, um, it was a, a woman's son. So a lot of your products, they're for any gender, they work well for anyone, um, male or female, yes, uh, sir. they come scented or yes. unscented. Um, I love how wide ranging yes, your product absolutely. is and how many people you're, you just want to help people. And I, and I love that. And you're like, Hey, this, I want you to look, yes. or it's more like, I feel like you want them to feel as good as they should look. And you want them to be able to look that way. Like, it's really cool to see that, absolutely. especially with like what you've been showing the testimonials. I follow your Instagram too. I love seeing the updates on there. It's like, man, this lady is doing things and it's so cool so congrats thank you thank you so much jacob yeah <laughs> just to let the um, listeners know to know too that like even the colored um even the color like i said the unicorn poop and like the color soaps i have everything is all natural clays it can be clays it can be the juices that i use when i'm juicing vegetables and and, and things like that and, and natural powders and stuff like that from the earth so i i, I really try to be self-conscious about it and like i say the only thing i the only chemical like i let people know too is like a little fragrance and stuff like in some in some of my products but i let people know so they can have a choice to hey look if you know if you're okay with some of the fragrance fragrance that's in there that's cool like I said but the fragrance is mixed with um essential oils and then I have some that are completely 100 percent essential oils so it is you know just try to do my part I think you had some kind of vanilla type soap or candle I'm not entirely sure um but I thought oh it's like a scented thing oh. but I think it was made with actual vanilla uh am, am I correct on that or was I misunderstanding yes definitely it's that de i do definitely have like a vanilla soap and um yes i would use like the uh vanilla um extract i would like use that uh, use that okay. in here too so yeah <laughs> that's cool literally yeah. everything is 100 percent organic that's really cool um yeah, do you have oil. anything else that you make and provide for people other than soaps and deodorants? Is there anything special that you're working on or that you um, have on your uh, website? Yeah. So I don't have it on my website yet because I have my friends testing it out and I've been testing it out for like two and a half months now. So some of the oils and butters that I Ooh. receive or that I bought when I, um, when I went out of the country and everything, I'm making a, um, a face, cream a face cream that is so good i love it so much it's so hydrating um i have like these laugh lines and 
and different, you know, different lines or even that, that this cream, this face cream has helped so much. So every time I would like wear for the past month and a half, I would wear people like, oh my God, your skin looks so supple. And I tell people like, touch it, touch it, touch my face. It's like, oh my God, it just feels so so uh, uh hydrated and i'm like yeah and like even when i had That's like awesome. bags under my eyes and everything yeah it's like i rub it under my eyes like uh, i rub it under my eyes and on my throat and you know and everywhere and it is really good so soon that's what i'm working on all i need now is some labels so soon i'm gonna introduce uh i'm gonna introduce it to the world Ooh, sneak peek here on IPA. That's what's up. Yeah. Yep. Yep. So yep, is 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 debuted here, <laughs> and um, so Thank I have two <laughs> friends that have been taking pictures, like before and after pictures, and and for them, it's like crack for them. You know, not that we've all had some crack, <laughs> but I mean, they just they love it. They're like, oh my god. No. <laughs> It's like, no, you got to bring this it's out. You awesome. got to bring this out. This is really good. This is really good. Yeah, because one, yeah, and this, and I'm, I can't wait to put the pictures out because one of my friends, she, when, I, when she was sending me the pictures, she was like, I don't know, I don't know, I don't know, because she has, she suffers for from rosacea, and um, and I just see, like, when you see the first initial picture, and then I think it's like two, two or three more pictures I'm gonna post you can see that the redness isn't as red. You can see that even the bags under her eye, That's cool. like everything has been smoothed out. I have another friend who pretty much had, I guess her, her face was going through some things because I think she accidentally uh, was curling her hair and burnt the side of her face. And then she had like mm. some dark spots and everything. And you can see with the two pictures that she sent me the before and after that, and she was like, Tyree was only like a week. And then I know because people are like, oh, it's only going to take a week. But everybody's body is different. You got to let everybody know everybody's body is different. Oh, and to finish telling uh, you right. about the deodorant too. Deodorant, like I would tell people too, the, the, with the deodorant is is everybody's body and chemistry is different. So I know when I first started my deodorant, um, I would have to reapply. But then I put like a natural... Um, probiotic and prebiotic in it and it lasts me all day now um but getting back to the new uh nice. <laughs> the new event i mean the new product <laughs> yeah. so yeah so the new product i'm really excited about it i can't wait to get my labels so i can put it out there and i think it, i think it'll, it'll be a beautiful thing a great thing for men and women for uh, moisturizing the skin and um and it has so many benefits it has so many benefits in it like um it helps with the squalene. Squalene is pretty much, uh, if I'm not mistaken, it pretty much helps keep your skin tight. Uh, it has like so much uh, vitamin E in there. It has um, it has vitamin E. It, it has a lot of antioxidants in there, and it's it's, it's a beautiful thing. And I I'm I'm not for certain yet if I want it to be scented. Um, if anything, I'd probably put like a light. Um, essential oil in there to scent it or maybe not because I, you know, I want it where I can just be able to sell it to everybody and I'll just tell people, hey, if you want to put some scent in there, get some essential oils, your favorite essential oils and drop a few drops in there. This way, people who are sensitive can, you know, can use it, you know, so but I'm so excited. I can't I wait that. to come out. Yeah. So again, Tari, I really appreciate you it's just kind of walking us through everything, what you provide, uh, what you make. Uh, I I would love a peek behind the curtain, but I don't want to get um, too many of your trade secrets out there. Uh, so we'll leave a little bit of that since you're a freshly new growing business. We'll let that get up there before we come back with some trade secrets. Uh, but I do love that you mentioned you basically test all this stuff on your friends. I think that's so cool that they're your test subjects. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> um, it's nice to see that you have proof and, you know, people – but I feel like with everything being all natural, it's really good to to see the effects of like how it actually helps people. And it doesn't seem to always be a downside, but I'm sure there have been some downsides, which we'll get into. Um, but right now, I'm just more curious about the financial gains that you've been dealing with. As we know, a lot of artists out there, when they're putting themselves out there, uh, it's, it's always hard getting the financial gains back. Uh, we had another couple on the show uh, around Christmas time when we first went to video that has an online shop and they were just talking about getting all that started. 
so my question for you is, has the investment into yourself, into your business and your products uh, with your website and everything, do you feel that the financial gains are starting to be beneficial and worth everything that you've been doing? Or maybe you're still halfway there. The business as a whole, you have your up your ups and down season. The good thing about it is that I did start it. Um, I had I had like money that I saved to start my business. Um, the great thing is that I didn't have to get a loan. Thank God. Um, I have had the best time. Yes, nice. I have had the best time um, building building my brand build and I'm still doing it building my brand um through things like this podcast like your podcast is gonna you know have people curious to visit my website um I did another podcast with um Sherry Shepherd and Kim Whitley they're like two comedians that Kim Kim Whitley is like the best yeah oh, awesome. so that that helped me a lot yeah shout out to them shout out to yep Two funny mamas, <laughs> and um, check out their podcast. Yes, and um, is that what the podcast is called? Yeah, two funny mamas. Yeah, nice. And um, and then I would say like all the <laughs> pop ups and farmer farmers markets that I've been uh, going through, like even like you said the um the the Lotus the Lotus um uh market festival is is been a great help with pushing my business and help building my money. Um, of course, since we are in this this i call it like a a quiet recession um it gets it gets tough sometimes yeah it gets tough sometimes when you know because people sometimes people just only buy when they need things which is to be expected you know especially when people have families so i i know sometimes my my business do um get a little quiet sometimes i want to say dead but it gets a little quiet but then that's when I go pop lock on Venice Beach. Right. No, I'm, joking. I'm assuming know. holidays are the best times for you. <laughs> huh? Oh, the oh <laughs> holidays. Yes, yes. The holidays. I would say mm-hmm. the holidays and Mother's Day is like the best time for me. The best time for me. So um, I really appreciate when those two uh, uh, seasons roll around. <laughs> those two holidays roll around. Um, hey, Father's Day yeah, is coming up. We can we can hook some folks up. Yeah, yeah. I was saying it, and it's always, it's always, even birthdays. You know, make your dad <laughs> smell good. <laughs> yep, make your dad smell good because I birthdays got a lot of too, great yeah. meals since bonfire. Bonfire is a is a favorite. Uh, eucalyptus lemon. I have uh, vanilla sandalwood. I'm a redneck. I love the smell of bonfire already. <laughs> oh my god, that's and you know it's so funny because I specifically got that scent for men. But women, oh my, and you know, because it's an earthy, it's like an earthy scent. And you know, it's an earthy and it has, it, yeah. I think it has like a twang of a little spice and, and a little sweetness to it. But it's it's so calming. It's so calming and, and people people love it. So, but yeah, yeah as far as like the financial, financially, yes, I can. It's I, relaxing I can always, like a bonfire. <laughs> exactly. But financially, I can always. I can never not get enough customers. <laughs> we just say it like that. I can never not get enough. <laughs> good. Well, thank you. I appreciate you sharing with uh, with me a lot of the details on that. Uh, it's good to see that this investment is something that's paying off for you. And it seems like at this point, even though you have the slow moments, you really are enjoying what you're doing. You seem really excited about this new facial uh, cream to come out. Mm-hmm. I'm excited to see where it goes. Uh, I can't wait to see what else you do. <laughs> Um, speaking of, is there anything that I may have missed? Uh, we talked about soap. We talked about deodorant, the new face cream. And I, I think earlier I had mentioned candles. Do you make candles? Is that a thing? You know what? Doing? I do do candles. Um, dang it. I, not, uh, oh my goodness. Um, I, I haven't posted the candles on my website as of yet because I'm still experimenting with them. Um, because the candles that I'm doing now is, um, a hundred percent beeswax and, I don't know if people know this, but people should research burning Ooh. a beeswax candle in their home. It is the best thing for you to do. It has so many benefits, especially if you have asthma, especially if there's a lot of, um, I was oh. just to clean the air. Yeah, the clean the air if you have asthma. Look it up. There's like so many great. So it's not benefits. just for scent. That's cool. No, it's not just for scent. It's not just for scent. It's just, just to clean your air. Is 
you know, it's I got so many things to remember, but it just have so many great benefits. So I encourage people to look up the <laughs> benefits of burning a beeswax candle in their home. And is do you so do you have beeswax candles on your website? No, I haven't put them on there yet, but I do sell them at the farmer's markets and the, and the pop-ups and the, the different events that I go to. I do sell them there and they are a hit because some of them say, um, get lit. Some of them say, be kind because their candles with words on it. <laughs> so it's like really cute. And they have like different little phrases, phrases on them, like me time and, you know, different cute things like that. And people get a kick out of it. And that's, I, I love that. That's something that I remember you, uh, that I remember seeing is like a lot of your soaps, like the one you showed earlier, they have such a cool look to them. Like some of them look like rocks that have been textured and painted. It, it, like they're just, they're not shapes or designs or uh, colors that you would expect to see. So like, I do love that, you know, everything being handcrafted, it also feels like artwork. It's like, it's almost like you don't want to use it because it just looks so neat. Like it's no, so odd sometimes. I, I was People like, I, was, say, well, I, I think I walked by your it. stall and I was like, is she selling rock? What is this? And it's like, I think that's soap. <laughs> It's yes, so cool. and you know, and it's so funny when people say that, like, oh, I don't want to use it. I'm like, you have to use it so you can come back. You got to help me. You got to use it. Use it up. We made it for you. Yeah. <laughs> yes, but my whole thing, I mean, I'm from, I'm from Detroit, That's Michigan, awesome. and I know in Detroit, it's like we, especially during my, during my era there, we thrived off of being different because, of course, you got so many soap businesses out there. You got so many things that are in the same category. But my thing is, I like to be different. I like to try to, I like to stand out, not try, but I like to stand out. So I always, and plus I, I would like give shots, I could give a shout out to my mother because my mother is an artist. My, you know, and I think I got some of that gene from her because uh, uh, she loves to paint and everything. And, and she loves doing sculptures. And, and every so time cool. I do a soap, I'm like, mom. okay, how can I make it different from, all the other soaps out there, you know? So that's my thing. I always like try to, you know, yeah. do something different and, and do things that I think if it, if it's eye catching to me, then I hope that it would be eye catching to someone else. That's the thing. Right. I like. Very well done. Uh, I love the shop. I love the products that I have personally used. Uh, mainly it's me stealing from my girlfriend because I was like, Hey, I ran out of soap. She's like, don't use my good stuff. And I was like, but it looks so cool. Yeah, um, and it smells cute. good. She got a really good one. I think it was like a sandalwood or some kind of smell, like a very earthy smell. Oh yeah, uh, right. I liked it too because I was like, this is like a neutral smell. I was like, I could wear this. Like yeah. I could bathe in this and wear it because I liked yeah. how it made me smell. The um, vanilla. And that's another thing I like is a lot of your scents that you have are very uh, gender neutral, and I thought that was really cool. Yeah, um, and I think that's yeah. a great selling point for people. Oh, it's okay. Yeah, dogs on the show is good too. <laughs> he wants to be seen. Um, so I'm ready to get in some questions here. Are you ready for the fun yes, questions segment now? And before we move on, is there anything else that you want to address? Uh, anything else that we might have overlooked uh, that you sell or that you make? Um, and remember, if you want candles, you got to go find her uh, at a vending spot. Yep, at a vending spot. My um, otebt.com is there. I am taking um, orders on my website. Uh, and then uh, check out the show links because uh, once this episode airs, uh, uh, you know, I record a lot in advance. Um, once this episode airs, I will try and put a list of there for any upcoming uh, farmers markets or any special events that you might be able to find uh, oils of the earth at. Uh, so you can check out her stall and meet her in person. She's a really wonderful woman. Very nice. Uh, I had a great time chatting with you. Uh, she loves to tell you about her product too, as you can tell from the show. So far. <laughs> <laughs> thank you. And Jacob, thank you for being such a sweetheart. And thank you so much to you and your girlfriend for so much support, you know, and I thank you for inviting me to come on to your show. That really helps. Thank you. Of course. And now we're going to have fun with a bunch of questions. <laughs> I'm ready. So Kyrie, I want to move into the questions now. And my first question for you is what do you feel is the biggest challenge that you had to overcome? Uh, or maybe it's something that you're still working on uh, as this new entrepreneur, as someone who runs their own business and creates these products for everyone. What has been a I big challenge the, for you to overcome? The, the biggest challenge, and I'm just going to be very transparent right now. The biggest challenge that I have, well, it's not really a challenge. It's just something that I wish people, you know, in the um, pop-up market will kind of understand that 
even though people can sell the same things, as long as you're being different, you know, as long as you're being different, as long as you're taking pride in what you're making, there's a market out here for everyone. There's a market out here for everyone. So for people not to be discouraged that, oh, this person's making juices like me. But guess what? That person doesn't have the same mixture or formula or taste as, you know, as, as your juice, like, and I would say like my soaps. Um, I had an issue where a young lady would like take pictures of my, of my table. And then next thing you know, it'll be on her table, you know? And I'm like, hey, how, you know, because at first it, it really, it really teed me off because I'm like, what the, this is crazy, you know, but then after a while, you know, people was, you were telling me, oh, just take it as, you know, um, oh, what, what's the word, you know, like I'm being honored that she loves my products that much that she wants to recreate them. And no, I didn't. Okay. <laughs> I didn't because I'm like, <laughs> okay, you know what? It's, it's all cool. I didn't, you know, I didn't make Is a Is she giving you the credit it. for it? <laughs> of course not. Of course not. I mean, that, that was, I would say that was one of the biggest challenges because just to like turn the other cheek and just to stay ahead of the game, that's, you know, that's how I just, you know, handled the situation just to stay ahead of the game. And then they got to a point where, you know, this person was exposed for, for who they were. And, you know, I would just encourage people if they ever get into a situation like that, just, you know, just, just stay above, like stay, stay above the, the, the curve, stay above all the, the silliness and know that what you are making is something great. The time you invested, um, even the time that you're, you know, putting in the, the, the paperwork and the business side of it is all love. And it's all like work in progress. And it's all things that you're investing in yourself. So when you do run across these type of um, challenges, just, just keep going, just keep going, just keep going, find other markets, uh, always have a positive like outlook. Yeah. Always have a positive outlook and just, keep smiling, keep smiling because as long as we have breath in our body, as long as we're clothed in our right mind, and as long as we're doing our thing, there's always tomorrow and there's always a chance to stay mm -hmm. ahead of the game. <laughs> there you go. I love that. I think that's a, that is a very unique challenge too, to have someone kind of take from you or at least that's what it would feel like. Uh, they may not be making, your stuff exactly but they're trying to take your ideas and your concepts but you like you said stand by your work stand by what you do and just know that your stuff is going to show through uh you're the one that's clever you're the one that's smart and like you said yeah it may not feel like an honor but it is in the back of your head kind of an honor it's like i'm so good at what i'm doing right now that other people are taking my ideas instead of creating their own um we had another amazing guest uh on this show a good friend of mine francis de leon um, she's incredible. She does a lot of really cool artwork that she puts together for, uh, masks and, um, outfits. Uh, she does these really cool, uh, pressed flower prints that she does. Nice. Uh, and she talked about the vendors market and she's from new Orleans and the way that that market works down there, um, how they had to form a community of the other vendors getting together and basically helping one another. So it's like, Hey, I'm not copying you. I just, I really liked what you did. And they would work with one another and learn to like, well, here's, you know, this is kind of what I do. And they're like, Oh, this is what I do. And so that way now when they're at the markets, they, they develop this non-hostile world where they can both compete oh, yeah. healthy competition yeah. and it benefits both of them. Uh, it's a community that they got. And she was really impressed with the community that she met down there. Um, so I hope that you're able to find that community here in Los Angeles oh, yeah. Uh, yeah. for your market. And if not, I'll put you in touch with Francis and you can take a trip to NOLA. Sounds good. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds good. But no, I have met, like I said, it was, uh, Lotus, <laughs> the Lotus Festival. I love, I, I love doing it every year, but I'm so sad. I know this year I won't be able to do it. It's a really I'll, cool festival. I'll be out of town. I'll be out the country. Really. Yeah. I'll be out the country. That's oh my goodness. I love that, that festival, but then there's other markets that I've get your I've secret done. ingredients. Yes. My secret ingredients. Yeah. <laughs> and it's like, you know, and even it's so funny that secret ingredients because it's so like on the my sands label. of the Sahari desert and your face scrub. 
<laughs> oh my goodness. I cannot wait. And it's so funny because when you see my, uh, it's funny you said secret ingredients because when you see my labels, it says secret love mix. And people are like, what is the secret love mix? I'm like, my, <laughs> my secret. <laughs> it's a hundred percent natural vegan. I can promise it's, you that. <laughs> yeah, it's it's like a good a lot um, of great oils. A lot of great oils. A lot of good stuff that's really good for your skin. But yeah, but I, I found like some really great markets that you know the hosts were beautiful, the the people were beautiful. It was just like I say, it was just that that little one situation when I first started, or you know, a couple of years into it. I'm like, okay. But other than that, it's been great. And it made you better for it, it sounds like. Of course. Uh, you know, right. moving along here, and this is something that I know in the acting world, you're probably really good at because you got to expect the unexpected with that. But in this business world that you're entering into with the, the products you're creating, I know you have mentioned almost burning down your apartment. Um, yeah. what, what do you feel is something unexpected that you had to face, you know, and it may have been something that you learned right there in the moment. Maybe it was making soap and not burning your house down, but I'm, I'm curious, that what is something exactly unexpected that, was, that you've come across that you just it caught you off guard? It was burning yes, the house down. <laughs> yes, that was exactly it. That's the answer to your question, because I guess I got too comfortable and I was like, oh, I got this in a bag. I don't have to, you know, follow the measurements and everything. Oh, when it turn out. <laughs> and that's one thing you cannot play with lie. Cause like I said, I make mines from scratch, my soap from scratch. So it's not a melt and pour. That's what I was trying to get. Remember earlier. It's not a melt and pour. Right. I'm making everything. I've seen fight scratch. club. I know what lie does. <laughs> yes. Yes. And you know, lie, you do not play with that. You have to wear your protective, uh, uh, uh your protective covering and everything. And, and man, I, you know, the thing is to break the lie when it's burning or burning through stuff, it's a whole bunch of vinegar. So you have to have vinegar. Whenever you're making soap, you have to have vinegar right there, right there. Because if it drops anywhere, you got to pour unless you're going to get a hole somewhere or you're going to get a tarnished table or or something like that. Oh, but wow. yeah, just, just to respect the process. Yeah, healthy okay. tip for everyone out there. Yeah. Respect the process, respect the yeah, res materials and, and stay safe. <laughs> I like that. Yeah. Unexpected respect the unexpected process. Yes. There you go. <laughs> um, so moving along here, I want to ask you now, you know, there are things uh, that we just, we can't do anything about it. It's a, it's a fact of life. It, it is what it is. It's just there. And we have to learn how to push through or go around whatever this obstacle is, because some things we, we just can't do anything about it, but it's how we adapt to it. So I want to ask you, what is a hard reality that you've had to deal with and accept with what you've been doing lately? What has been a hard reality for you to have to just, you know, you just have to accept it. You grasp it, you accept it. But how do you work through that? How do you get around that? Let you know? me see. Um, I would Take say being a... I know, every now and then I throw fun questions. <laughs> <laughs> that was a great, that was a great question. Um, I would say just doing this business, it really, it grew me as a person. It grew me as a person and to really appreciate my, my self-value. You know, because before I, I was just so used to, you know, working as a teacher to supplement my my income when, you know, when I'm not doing the acting. And I would say having your own business. You're, you're, you're very grateful. I'm very grateful, but it is a 24 hour thing. You think like, oh, OK, no, I do. No, it's just like. Not only you're doing it, the, I'm, I'm making a product. I have to do the inventory. I'm, I have to get the labels. I'm doing the, you know, social media, which I be slacking on sometime. Um, I'm tracking down different events. I feel you on that. I'm trying. Yeah. <laughs> oh, it's, it's no joke. But the thing is, it's like a labor of love because, you know, you love it. You love it because it's just like you're taking pride that this is this is something you created. It's something that is thriving. And what I really love is that if I get quiet sometimes, I get like a little little nudge on social media or through my email, like, hey, um, 
you know, I haven't seen you in, in, in a pop-up in like a, a good two weeks or something. Is everything cool? Or, hey, can I order this? Can I still order that? Can I, you know, and it's always good for just to have people check in with you. But that's something I would say that I would have to, or I learned to appreciate and also work through is that having a business and being a one woman show is no joke because people need to realize when I, when I do do these events, I am putting up my tent by myself. I'm like putting up the tent. I, you know, setting up the tent, setting up the table, setting up the chairs, setting up the, you know, the table, putting the, all the fixtures on there, setting up the soap, setting up everything. And then, you know, the great cousin, because you know, I, and I, I've always been a people person. I love people. I love people, and I love good people even more. <laughs> and it is just just that interaction with people. Mm-hmm. I love that. I love that. That's to me. That's like the best part for me is just interacting with people, and you know, them asking questions, and I'm telling them. And then you know, I even have people to come to me and give me tips, like, oh, you should try this oil, or did you know this, or did you know that? And I'm like, oh my goodness, great! Oh, you should try this, you should try that. And it's like I get like all these tips where people tell me about how to um, do a different soap or mix what what to mix with to, to get different um, get to get different uh, 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 soaps that will help the skin. So that's always like good stuff and just interacting with people and then. You know, then again, on the back side of owning a business, you got the business part. Jesus, you got <laughs> you, you got the business. Part. I I love I love that the hard reality is this monster that you've created. It's your business. That's the hard you have to accept. Yeah. That, All right, this is it now. This I have to I have, I have to embrace this it. and push, push through. And and you're doing great. Thank it's you. awesome. Thank you. It's no joke. <laughs> but you created that. Yep. Yep, I did, and I'm happy. I'm, right? I'm happy. It's a literal hard reality. Yeah, but the business part of it, come tax time, I'm like, mm-hmm. you know, but I, I push through. Okay. I get it done. <laughs> I get it done. Understood. <laughs> so, Tari, uh, out of all the stuff you've been doing and working through the challenges you've had to face, the hard realities you've created for yourself, uh, the people you've met, um, and the feedback you've been getting, I would like to know what has been the most valuable takeaway from this process for you that has made you a better artist and entrepreneur. You know how like when you are just doing your best, doing things and some, you know, just just fighting through life and life's challenges. When someone gives you like a golden nugget, you know, when somebody just tells you something like a word of encouragement and it just changes your perspective of everything, you know, um, it's like that thing you didn't know you need. Yeah. That thing, like you didn't know that you need it. And I remember <laughs> it was like two things that I can remember. I remember one time in college, I remember I told my grandmother, I was like, grandma, I'm tired of school. I think I'm just going to give up and come back home. And she said, I thought you was my soldier. And just those, just that little phrase right it just made me pull up my bootstraps and like, okay, I got to finish school. (laughs) I got to finish school. And I would say now as an adult, every time when I feel like I want to give up or I think something is just too hard or challenging, I think back on what my grandmother says, like, you know, I thought you was my soldier, you know? And that it gives me so much strength. It gives me so much endurance and and just a push that push to be like. And it and it's so crazy because it's just like sometimes that just hearing her voice just comes out of nowhere sometimes, you know. And I'm like, oh my god, I needed that that little boost, you know. So it's it's good because when life be lifing, you know, you just gotta you gotta <laughs> reach deep within and just, just just do it, you know, and. Like I said, a lot of times it'd it be the fear of the unknown, you know, again, the fear of the unknown or, you know, sometimes people, people can be afraid of success. And, it, and it's all about changing your mindset, you know, changing your mindset, because I would say no matter what goes on around us, no matter what people say or what people do your choice and what you think of yourself 
makes the ultimate decision. You know, so like what people need to, yeah. So what people need to understand is, you know, give yourself some grace, give yourself time to, okay, if you need to go back to the drawing board, figure things out, just don't stop. Don't give up and just keep going. Cause to me, I just feel as long as you still have breath in your body, you winning, we winning. <laughs> we're right. winning so i mean it's it sounds to me yeah. like in all honesty correct me if i'm wrong but it does sound to me like the valuable takeaway is your perseverance in the art that you've been doing and creating and your perspective on taking those moments to give yourself that grace and be like hey look this may not be going right but you're doing it and you should be proud of what you've accomplished and that you keep pushing forward. Oh yeah, that, that's. I think that's a great. You because it's, it's part of growth, and that's that's a yeah. great takeaway to have. It's, it's, it's a good, valuable growth. moment too. To be like yeah. I'm learning from this, and it's it's a great way to improve. Yeah, and, and it's so good because each time, yeah, each time you do this, you never know what's on the opposite side. Like, say, for somebody want to invite you out, and you're like, oh, I don't feel like doing this. When you go there, it's just like you're so happy that you meet, you meet in connections, you, you know, you're networking and maybe someone has something for you to get to the next level or something to help your business. And that has helped, happened to me so much. Like again, how I met you, you know? So, I mean, cause I'm just like, <laughs> Oh, going to this event and you know, you never know what happens. And just like, I, I always, like, I have a friend that always invites me to, to business events and no matter, sometimes I'm like, oh, yes, I'd love to go. And sometimes I'm like, oh, I got so much work. And she was like, just come. And, you know, you I meet great people. A lot of great stuff come out. I end up doing like private events and, and, and you know, meeting like people who can who can help me, who have helped me. So it's, it's a good thing. It's perseverance. I like that. Uh, you know, speaking of uh, your work and what you do, uh, earlier, we had mentioned the unexpected, but what did you actually expect from Oils of the Earth? What did you want from this? Um, again, what I wanted was to, I wanted to educate people about the importance of watching what they put on their body. You already educated me. I just found out. Yeah, it, it is so important that. I mean, it's good to know when, you know, when people come to me and like, oh yeah, you know, I do this for myself. I do that for myself. Everything that is natural because we're rebuilding our body. We are rebuilding the things that have that so, so long ago, we putting all these chemicals on our body. Cause it, it kind of remind me of the first Batman. If you really think about the first Batman yeah. with Jack Nichols and, and what's his name? Michael Keaton. Remember how yeah, everybody- Michael Keaton. The yeah, Batman. How, yes, how everybody was laughing. They putting all this hairspray in their face and their hair, lathering up with all these chemicals, and they keep laughing until they die laughing. You know, <laughs> you know, it, it just I, when I start making my business, that's what it remind me of. I'm like, oh my goodness, no, we definitely need to start doing something great for our skin because we need to know whatever we put on our skin. It's going into our brain, it's going into our lungs, it's going into our heart, it's going into our our, our our liver, it's going into everything that's inside of our body. And we don't know. It's not like we can just open ourselves up and be like, look, oh man, look at this burger doing. You know, <laughs> it's like we can't we can't do that. <laughs> you know, we we can't do that. So at least we can control uh -oh. no. <laughs> you know, what's on our skin. <laughs> so yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I I like that. I think um th I think that's the first time in a long time uh I had someone on here say like you know something that they wanted was to give knowledge and, and help educate people. Um and that makes sense cuz like you had mentioned, you know, you teach you or you did teach. Uh I'm not sure if you still do or not, but I can see that, you know, being a really good thing to want. It's um I guess earnest and, and humbling in a way. Um I that's I like right. that. Uh, yeah, because you're not right. just saying like, hey, here's a product, but like you're letting people know like this is actually really good for this. I've tested it out. It's really good for that. It's all natural. It can help you. And, you know, these are these are things that they they drive people crazy. Like you helped a kid from having a whole lot. Imagine 
that that woman's son that had to deal with all those issues with the skin becoming a teenager and an adult, mm -hmm. it could change his personality. It can make him. And now he's able to finally like embrace who he is, love himself, be happy with that. So you're helping people. I think that's great. And you're educating yeah. them so that they can be aware of like, well, maybe I didn't realize that this product that I use might actually be messing up my skin. Yeah. You know? I think yeah. that's cool. I, I just never thought about that. And I love the, the, the Batman analogy. That makes a lot of sense because it's, it's right there in the movie. It shows you like, yeah, it's chemicals yeah. that gets into the skin and makes them all crazy. Mm -hmm. It's like, Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. light bulb moment. Yeah. But, no, because, um, you know what? A lot of people just be thinking that it's just, it's just fluff what we see, but it's, it has a lot of truth what we see in these movies. So it's, it's good to like, mm -hmm read in between the lines and then go from there to, to, to better yourself. Art imitates life or life imitates art, something like that. Oh, yeah. <laughs> uh, but oh. moving along now, uh, I want to ask you, what's your drive? What motivates you to keep doing this, to keep making these mm -hmm. awesome hand soaps that look like rocks? <laughs> you know what? Like every, every now and again, I'll say, dang it, I need to put out something new. I need to put out something different. I need to put out something new. And I don't know. I just I just go in my kitchen, start playing with stuff, or you know, and, and, and no lie, I even go on, I even go on um YouTube or stuff like that and just just try to get ideas. But what I do, I like to put my own spin to it. If I see something I like, I'll be like, oh, okay. I like this, but I'm going to put my own spin to it because like I said, I don't like copying people, but I'm like, okay, you know what? I'm going to try this, but let me do something different, you know? Yeah. So you need a little direction I mean, that's, to that's, start. That's, yeah. 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 I, I can to relate to that. Like, that's, that's like me. I use YouTube to cook. I'm like, oh, I just want to know how to go about doing this. And then once they you know take me through the process, it's like, oh, I don't need a measuring cup. I'm just going to do it my way now. <laughs> Yep, yep. There you go. <laughs> there you go. Put your own flavor to it. <laughs> uh, but I, I think that's a cool drive to have, though that that need to want to constantly grow and put out products. Like you're like, I want to try something. It's just like yeah. you know, you said earlier, like you've got things in the works. You're still improving on, it and you're making sure before you present it to us that this is going to be something really great. So I'm, I think the face cream is awesome. Uh, I love that you have that in the works. I can't wait to see what comes out after that. Um, we already know that your soaps are good. The, you've already found a way to make, you know, vegetable loofahs inside of the soap. I mean, you're creative as hell. And I, and I admire that so much. That's really cool. Thank you. Uh, and I personally like the loofah soap. I thought that was really cool to use. Um, don't tell my girlfriend Thank I used you. some of it. She'd get mad. <laughs> it, was, it was fun. I liked Thank it. you. <laughs> I'm glad. Yeah, all you need is somebody just to wash your back with it. That's the end. Oh, right. Okay. Yeah. It's, well, it's a little... <laughs> yeah. Um, as we wrap this up, Tyree, I just want to ask you, is there any advice or anything that you would like to say to anyone out there looking to do what you do, whether it's creating soap or starting their own business in general with anything as a, as an entrepreneur, uh, what good advice could you give to anyone out there looking to, to get into yes. this? Yes, I would say, Follow your dream, follow whatever. I mean, stop putting off tomorrow what you can do today. Like start writing things down. If you just write things down, a lot of people just have an issue with writing things down. Once you write a thing, once you write things down, to me, that's that's a way of holding yourself accountable. Because what I do, it's just like a checkoff list. I make a box and I write things down, what I need to do or what I want to do. It's just like planning. Um, and it is planning. And once you can see it, then you can start working towards it and try to learn as much as you need to learn. Strategize. I like that. Yeah. Yeah. And don't be afraid because fear is only what you put into it. Fear is fear itself. You know, sometimes you get it like it's just sometimes we are our worst enemies where we're just like, oh, what about this? Or 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 they already got enough of this, but they don't have what you have. They don't have what you can your your spin. They don't have your spin on it. So, you know, sure. and that's what we want. We want your spin on it. You know, we want we want your creativity. And that's in whatever, whether making soaps, whether making candles, whether making 
anything, you know, because like even with your podcast, you you know, Jacob is doing his spin on his podcast. You know, you ask the questions that yeah. that, that you want to ask. You, you bring you bring the energy and you bring the liveliness into, you know, what you what you want to do. So I, I think it's a good thing. Mm, yeah, right. you do. And, you know, and I think it's a good <laughs> <laughs> and I think I think it's a good thing because I mean you 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 make me feel so comfortable. You it, it just you know and just like you said, it's been a year before all this happened, and it's just like by you just being so sweet and everything. I'm like, oh my god! Anytime he's ready, I'm ready too. Especially since I got my computer done. But <laughs> but um yeah yeah, yeah but just <laughs> stay focused, right? Just stay focused. Don't be afraid. Just do it because. I know, and it is really good to have people around you to um, to support you. It's, it's really good because, you know, um, my family is in Detroit and in, in, in Atlanta and, you know, I don't have family here. And just the group of friends that I, that I have are very supportive, very supportive. Hey, you know, Tyree, hey, I can, you know, if you're not doing anything, I can help you with this or, you know, because I, I would say my friend Samantha she was the one who told me about my first farmer's market and I was so afraid to go. And she was like, no, she said, if you want, I'll just come with you. I'll come with you on your first day. And I said, really? And just that support. Yes. Just that support, you know, built that confidence. They believed in you. Yeah. She believed in me. No. Yeah. She believed in me. So it just, and I think it's always good when, when, you know, God sent people just orchestrate people just to come to you without you even knowing that they're just coming to just to boost your self-esteem and just to support your business and everything. So I was just like to encourage everybody just to, no matter what field you want to go into, no matter what hobby you would like to get into, just get it started. Like go to a class, go to a meetup, Look up YouTube. Um, Educate yourself. Do, Absolutely. You know, connect with someone. Yeah, connect with someone. Just don't mm-hmm. sit there because, you know, people are like, oh, you know, I'm going to sit and wait or I'm going to sit in this corner and wait for people to notice that I'm shy. No, you got to push yourself. You definitely have to push yourself. You definitely have to, you know, get out of your own way, get out of your head and and just do it. And once you do it yep. and you develop that that confidence, it's, it's no turning back. Even when somebody try to throw a little monkey wrench in your program, what you do? Dust your shoulders off. Dust your shoulders off. I love it. <laughs> and get back out Couldn't have said it better myself. That's <laughs> great advice. <laughs> yeah. Dust your shoulders off and get back out there. As you, In the words of your grandmother, yeah. be that soldier. Get it done. <laughs> tighten up them bootstraps i like it uh tyree i, I had a great bootstrap. time talking to you thank you so much for taking the time to come on i appreciate you oh, no problem uh okay. i just want to end this now with anything that you would like to say uh before we end this is there anything you'd like to add and of course please promote yourself tell us how we can find oils of the earth and of course i'll have all links in the show notes the the platform is okay. yours but it's been yours all day Thank you again. I would love for everyone to visit my website at Oils of the Earth, and that is O T E B T, Oils of the Earth. So, yeah, just visit that website, Oils of the Earth, O T E B T dot com. Visit that, or you can go to my um my Instagram. My Instagram is O T E B T. So it's it's the same, O T E B T. And actually, you know what? I have a little card here. I think maybe. You guys can see it. Links are in the show notes too. Yep, that's my logo. It's probably come out backwards for everybody, all the viewers, but I'll, I'll send you. I'll send you. <laughs> We're a, gonna find out. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. Dog, <laughs> but I do appreciate you coming on. Thank you so much. This has been really cool. I actually feel a little educated. I didn't know all the cool stuff that I never really thought about with like the, the fact of putting stuff on my skin. It's like, I didn't really think about that. Um, and I know that I personally have had good experience with your product. Uh, my girlfriend loves it as well. Uh, and you've got great feedback. So anyone out there listening, um, please give her feedback. She does like criticism. She grows from that and she improves her product because she's all about that customer satisfaction. Um, thank, thank you so much, you. Tari. I really do appreciate thank it. Thank you so much, Jacob. It's my pleasure.
It was great. And we finally made it happen. It took us a while. We had issues and we got it worked out. So I'm excited for that. We, we persevered. We put our bootstraps on and we got it done. Persevered. That's what I was um, about to say. Yes. Yes. <laughs> and, and that's the note I'm going to leave everyone on is stay focused when you're trying to become an entrepreneur, when you want to start your own business, stay focused, mm-hmm. persevere, push through, get it done. Uh, and just keep growing from everything, good or bad, learn, absorb, and just keep working. And I guess until the next time, everyone, stay golden. Stay golden. Thanks for tuning in. And if you like what you heard, please rate and review, like and subscribe. Every little bit helps. And as always, the theme music of the show is provided by The Erica Page. And our brand new graphic designs are all thanks to Quality Artworks. Links are in the show notes. Go support these amazing indie artists just like they support IPA sessions. And of course, please follow us on social media. We have Facebook, Instagram, TikTok, and YouTube. That's at IPA Sessions podcast. And if you or someone you know is an independent artist looking to promote their work or just share their story with us, please hit me up at IPA Sessions Podcast at gmail.com. Thanks again, everyone. And I hope you're able to find some inspirations for practical applications and entertainment.